What I have here for you today is an inbox review of Tamiya's P51D Mustang 1 30 second scale. Um, this is supposed to be a cracker of a kit, um, supposed to fit absolutely beautifully, um, but something this good apparently comes with a whopper of a price. It costs about RRP £130. So, although this is supposed to be damn good, um, let's see if it's worth the £150. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate the camera, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to show you what you get in the box with it all bagged up and how it all looks that way um, before I start opening it all up. Um, now, as you can see, inside the box we have got um, literally all our sprues by the looks of it are all nicely separately bagged and we have got loads and loads and loads of sprues and happily separately bagged although one or two of them have got maybe two sprues um, bagged together but, I, but I, sh I shouldn't think that's much of a problem as you can see lots of sprues separately bagged um, Looks like we've got a nice little correction seat here. I don't know, something may be wrong with the instructions. Um, some more useless information. Um, and then we've got this, um, what's it say it is? It's a, uh, a reference manual, um, which is quite nice. Um, basically, it's like a nice little booklet giving you some nice information and reference photos, as you can see. Nice couple of pages there and we've got a load of nice close-up um, detail work of the actual aircraft which is really nice but these photos are rather small um, but that is a nice little touch um, but then again for 130 pounds it should be a nice touch nice little decal sheet here um, it looks like we've got some uh, masks for our canopies as well um, we've then got this big whopper of a instruction manual as you can see there um, and then we've got what looks like a um, bit of a decal and colour scheme um, call out here nice glossy paper looks nice um, we've then got another little section over here which houses um, some of our engine um, panels by the looks of it there and then we've got another little box here which I think is going to hold some of our nice little goodies which we've just opened this up and yes again we've got all our nice clear canopy parts separately bagged three bags worth of canopies um, we've got some screws we've got some magnets with this um, photo etch again two sheets of that and separately bagged um, and then we've got some um, some nice um, rods here which I'm um, not sure what they're going to use that for but um, we'll have a look in a bit um, moving through what else have we got we've even got some rubber wheels a nice another touch there and we've got a screwdriver and what looks and feels like some rubber parts here so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna unbag all this and we're gonna have a right good close look now just remember this is probably gonna be a very long um, inbox review because this is a big kit to cover right then we're going to start off with our first couple of sprues now as I say this is going to take a bit of time but I want to work your way work my way through all the sprues and there's lots of sprues so um, you know I'm going to be cutting away here and there so to get started we've got our first little sprue here um, and looking at it I mean everything does look nice and crisp um, we've got our propeller here which does look really nice and crisp let's bring you in all nice and crisp there we have got little ejector pin marks here and there in quite a few places actually but they are quite nice neat ejector pin marks I think you can see them um, it's just where have they placed them are they in bad places that's the question um, as for flash I mean there's just no flash going on with this at all um, but we do have lots of nice detail going on um, so just moving to our next one here we've got our wheel well doors now um, looking at this nice detail going on here for stirring plastic but I mean I am seeing actually several ejector pin marks inside here um, although they look neat enough to almost kind of you could almost get away with it um, but to sand them out is gonna be a bit of a pain because 
I am feeling, yeah, those are raised ejector, um, no, sorry, they are raised rivets inside there, so to sand out those ejector pin marks, you're going to be sanding away raised rivets, so, um, mm, Yes, so-so, shall we say, for such an expensive kit. Wheel weld doors, again, you know, we've got these ejector pin marks going on all around there. Those should be a lot easier to sand out, though, to be honest, so um, at least that isn't too bad. But we've got loads and loads of tiny little pieces going on with this kit. Um, as you can see, it is just bag after bag of... Um, Styrene plastic again. Now, this is the cool thing about this kit is the surface detail on here is just absolutely amazing. I mean, that there, believe it or not, is loads and loads of fine tiny little um, recessed rivets which is absolutely um, shall we say gorgeous um, you know I can just imagine though that you know sanding dust getting in there I mean ew, that could be a pain to try and get a wash in there and stuff but I mean you know I still think it's gonna look good so apparently this fits together absolutely gorgeously so I don't think you're gonna be doing like masses of sanding with this kit but as you can see you know it is looking absolutely gorgeous um, we've got some ejector pin marks going on here in our um, flap area I don't know I think actually two pieces go together yeah I think these I wouldn't worry about them by the looks of it um, and again that's another copy we've got another copy in that same bag there moving along to the next sprue here I mean uh, what we've got we've got some ammunition here which does look really nice there um, again some more ammunition there and I think we've basically got all our little engine bits which um, from what I've seen of this kit I mean all our engine bits really do build up into a gorgeous engine that you can have lovely on show with this kit um, so, so far, I mean, everything looks nice, crisp, no flash, but a few ejector pin mark problems. We get ourselves a nice um, bit of ground crew and pilots, which, um, you know, they do look rather nice, um, but for one in 30 seconds scale, uh, I don't know, I, I, mm, I think it could be a bit better, um, but still not bad. Um, we've got ourselves some nice fuel tanks as well. I won't get absolutely everything out of the bag. You do get this nice um, stand as well, which you can have if you want it in a um, in-flight display, you can put it on this nice stand. Um, so I'm just gonna get some more bags out. Continuing along with all our sprues, we've now got our um, cockpit section here. Uh, let's just bring you in, and hopefully, as you can see, we've got some nice instrument panels going on here, which, you know, um, it looks like somewhere in this build there's going to be some sort of dials going on, which is, like, really fantastic. Um, and we've got some different options here, by the looks of it, for different versions. We've got what our engine rests on here, and, you know, that's not looking too bad, but the engine detail that's going to build up around this is going to look absolutely stunning um, and as you can see we've got all these nice little parts that are going to build up to make our cockpit section look absolutely amazing our seat here has even got um, recessed rivets and raised rivets on it uh, we've got a few more engine parts here uh, and some more knobs and dials and all those kind of things and our pedals and it all looks so nice and crisp and well detailed and highly professional and then what we've got here coming next is we've got more engine detail which is like our actual the block of the engine itself and all this in here just again it's just so looks so amazing um, you know the detail in here and I just know from what I've read that this just fits together like a glove there's not going to be any fit issues at all with this kit um, you know and the only thing I've found with this kit so far is it's some ejector pin marks uh, you know in a few nasty places um, again some more engine detail again I don't want to get everything out of the bags moving along and what we've got now is our um, wing section um, which kind of gives you an idea of our wingspan now um, 
yeah what is that I mean this is about 45 centimeters across so we're just under 45 centimeters uh, and again the detail is just absolutely outstanding Standing. Um, hopefully you can just see if I rotate this just seeing the light that fine rivet work that is going on all over this model and it's the finest I've ever seen um, and I'm sure that is going to look absolutely beautiful with some sort of a nice wash going in there and the recessed panel lines are looking really damn good too um, moving along we've now got our um, fuselage section which does look a little bit of a mess um, but again it all fits really nice so don't worry we've got our tails here which is going to fit to our fuselage section um, and then we've got all our um, stuff here to op have all your engine all open up to have all that nicely on show um, but again you know the detail that is going on on the surface of this uh, model is uh, you know second to none uh, you know we're probably talking the best kind of surface detail in the world from what I'm seeing here um, and I've got something to show you in a bit and that'll just prove how damn good this is um, but the one other thing is there's something really fine up here I don't know if you're gonna see it but right here we have literally got um, the heads of screws and you can actually see the shape of a head of a screw that is actually like looks like a screw I mean you know that is the kind of level of detail and you can feel that it's raised a raised screw head just on the surface there uh, which I think might be a bit of a problem because as we come round to here sorry as we come round and we need to um, you know sand this little bit of an area here to get it all nice and seamless we're gonna probably end up removing that lovely screw head detail because it's raised and you know to put that kind of you know level of detail back in um, to a model like this um, that kind of detail is going to be really hard um, you know, so that's a slight bit of a pain um, but moving along we've um, also got let's just bring you out a little bit we've got another um, tail here which um, is probably we're talking different versions that you can pick from here but we've got our flaps and um, you know elevators and all that kind of stuff going on here and it's just like the rest of the kit it is absolutely outstanding surface detail um, no flash um, I'm not seeing any sink marks um, we have got ejector pin marks as I say in good places on here but there's still a few places on the kit where they are a bit here. What we have here is some separately bagged and separately boxed um, engine panels. Um, now in here this looks so beautiful and so fine I've had to put on a um, sludge wash, um, let it dry and wipe it down just to actually show you the detail that is going on in here. Um, so if I just bring you in as much as I can hopefully what you'll see is this really fine um, recessed rivet work raised um, kind of like screw heads going on and you know really nice fine recessed panel lines and hopefully as you can agree that absolutely looks beautiful uh, and not only that I mean it feels really really thin as well um, very kind of I would say easily broken um, it really uh, absolutely fine stuff going on there and all the panels in here are just the same um, I can only imagine that it probably cost them a lot more to kind of produce these because that is just I mean the kit is absolutely amazing but what's in here is even better than the kit which is um, really really good um, and what we're going to look at now is we're just gonna have a look at our clear parts that we also get in our little box um, now in here just gonna quickly unbag them we have actually got options for free different canopies so I mean we've got definitely lots of nice options to have different um, p51 so what we got we've got a mega lovely shiny canopy work going on here with nice detail work going on um, around the canopy we do have a seam line going down the middle that we could um, oh can you hear that squeak that was nice see 
absolutely beautiful um, so you've got three options there for three different canopies we've also then got I won't get everything out of the bag we've got another um, clear part section here in which we've got our front part of our canopy um, we've also got our um, dials here as well so um, you know we've got some nice clear glass dials to kind of put in there um, so just moving along in our little box I'll just get everything out all right, we've got some rods as I've already said, um, and we've got like some screws, bolts, magnets, rubber wheels. Right, but what we're going to have a quick look at, we're going to have a look at our photo etch. Um, in fact, I'll get it out because it does seem a little bit on the thick side. All right, because what we don't want is big fat bits of photo etch, which, yeah, wow, that is proper thick photo etch. You know, that's going to take a bit to cut off, um, and any bend bending you need to do is going to be a little bit hard. But then, you know, you do get this free with the kit, and I'm pretty sure the aftermarket people have probably gone out and done a really nice photo etch set anyway. So um, there's one bit of photo etch. Um, and then you've got your second bit of photo etch here, which we've got some nice seat belts um, to really kind of dress up our interior. But as I say, that is quite thick um, photo etch. So um, me personally, um, although you get this with the kit and it's free, I would probably go out, if I'm going to spend £130 on this kit, I'd go out and spend a couple more pounds getting some proper Eddard photo etch, because that is proper thick photo etch. Um, right then, so we've gone actually through, finally, all the parts. Um, what we're going to do, we're just going to have a look at some other little bits and bobs. Now, reference manual, I've already flicked through that. Um, only needs a quick quick, uh, quick uh, flick through but I mean you know you've got some nice information some nice photos in there you know which should be beneficial um, moving along we've got our decal sheet in here and we've got some other little things so we'll we'll get this open and have a little look I'm just trying to carefully slide this out Oop. Yeah, that doesn't want to come out so well but anyway we've got in here some nice kind of metallic stickers with our um, canopies uh, canopy um, masks which is a nice little bonus as a freebie looking at these decals here they do look pretty damn good um, nicely in registry nice colors uh, don't look like any problems we've got a nice sort of satin finish but it's probably going to be your typical um, decals asian decals so i mean we're probably going to be using uh, mr mark and all that kind of stuff another set of decals in here and ah, finally we've got our dials all right we're going to have um, some decals for our dials and looking at them i don't know how well you can see it on camera but they do look um mm, not too mm, not brilliant shall we say again hopefully the aftermarket people will kind of like get on the bandwagon we'll have some photo etch and kind of because those decals i mean the instrument panel and the clear parts you know all look good to make up our instrument panel but those decals aren't as good as i would like them to be uh, but all these stencils in here they do look um, really good you can actually read them even the smaller ones magnifying glass you know all good um, some nice decals there um, moving along again as i said there's like a correction sheet in here um, the manual right uh, well first off you know as you say you've got these as I've already said you know you've got a nice bit of a call out um, but I just want to quickly run through the manual because well oh, what a manual shall we say it is massive lots to read um, specifications talking about the actual aircraft um, and I just want to really quickly flick through this because this is going to take me ages you know you can build up your engine and again I mean 
everything on here um, from what I've read fits like a glove if you have a problem with this kit if you find a fit issue with the kit it's not the kit it's you okay it's you um, you've, you've misread the instructions because I mean there is quite a lot going on with the instructions as you can see there's lots of kind of pieces here and there lots of little pieces going on um, you know and different kind of things you could do uh, just moving through yeah, it's it's going to be a bit more of a complicated instructions by the looks of it to follow through, um, but everything fits so well. If you've got a problem, you've either read things wrong or something. So, I mean, that is basically instructions, and you're being shown how to do all your um, your, your masking and your photo etch and all your extras that you get with it come um, shown on here, as well as putting all your magnets in. Because I think you can um, have all your engine section uh, magneted kind of onto the model so it looks like you've got your your, your panels on um, or you know you can have your panels off and show off all your engine which is a nice touch and I think it fits so well that you can literally actually do that um, so that's nice um, and it just shows you how to put your stand on and paint up your pilot and then we've got our decal call outs and stencil call outs and different markings so um, as you can see that is the instructions a lot of instructions going on there um, just take your time don't rush through it follow the instructions um, so whew, God, that's been a big sort of review lots of pieces so um, final conclusion on this whole kit well um, without a shadow of a doubt it is an amazing kit um, there's some things that I've seen on here that I have not seen at such a level anywhere else in modeling i mean the detail that is going on in here is absolutely second to none um never seen anything like this ever before um, in any kind of kit i don't think there is anything as good as this anywhere i know they've done a spitfire version which is supposed to be just as good as this um which um, i wouldn't mind getting my hands on as well um but is it worth 130 pounds i would have to say definitely yes um, it is one of these things where it is so damn good yes it's 130 pounds but um you're never gonna uh, well i wouldn't say never but i mean right now there is nothing out there like this that you can actually build it is just second to none amazing detail fits together beautifully you've got loads of nice little extras you know and it is of a famous aircraft they do a spitfire version as i say so you've got another famous aircraft i mean you just plain and simply cannot beat this kit um, i would love to build this kit um, however um, as the date is today which is the 30th of april i will be giving this away in may's um, competition prize so i mean this is going to be a giveaway so um, get in there while you can and you can um, have a possibility of winning this actual kit um, so hopefully in the future i'll build maybe the spitfire or the mustang one of this um, but i say this is um, a giveaway um, and i want to thank um, boys town military miniatures for actually providing us with this kit to review it give it away in the may 2013 competition um, and i hope you've enjoyed it i've enjoyed it I'm, I'm loving this kit and i'm kind of kicking myself that i've got to give it away as a competition prize um, you know and i'm really thinking about going out and buying it so i hope you've enjoyed that and until next time I hope you've enjoyed this inbox review